In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to do myofascial release for levator scapular muscles. This muscle attaches on here, the medial border of scapula and part of superior angle of scapula. And it also attaches on cervical spine one through four. Okay, the medial border and superior angle of scapula and the C1, 2, 3, 4. Its main function is elevation of scapula and a little bit the uh, downward rotation of scapula. Since it attaches on the cervical spine, it has something to do with cervical movement. This muscle is very important for kind of a frozen shoulder. If scapula doesn't move, shoulder doesn't move. So levator scapula has something to do with frozen shoulder, okay? I basically use the knuckle to go like this. Imagine there is a levator scapula here. You need to be able to find superior angle, but this is difficult to think. It's easy to palpate here. This is spine of scapula because it's easy to palpate. You know? And some people misunderstand this is superior angle, but it's not. Superior angle is this one. Why do people misunderstand? Because superior angle is relatively anterior to spine of scapula. So it's kind of easy to miss it. Plus, there's big muscle here. This is trapezius. Trapezius covers superior angle like this, so it's a little bit hard to palpate. Trapezius here, and it's slightly anterior, okay? Then I go like this. Let's find the spine of scapula first. Here it is, this is spine of scapula. Superior angle is going like this way. Yeah, it's easy to palpate on this person. This is superior angle. Levator scapula comes like this, then trapezius covers here. So I imagine I go through the trapezius, go deep, deep, deep to trapezius. Now I am on levator scapula. Once I reach to the fascia, what I want to work, the fascia starts to react. I'm using this part. Or if you have a strong fingers, you can go like this. However, I'm not using too much pressure. My fingers are relaxed. I use adequate pressure. If you are available, you can use your left hand or other hand, whichever, which hand you use, you can use other hand to assist the work. My right hand is doing work and my left hand is doing assistant. Good. Review of anatomy. This is right scapula. Levator scapula attaches on medial border and part of superior angle. And the cervical spine one through four. Running like this. If this muscle gets tight, it can pull scapula this way and stacks. Then scapula doesn't move. Shoulder doesn't move. This muscle is very important for scapula shoulder movement. If you liked today's video, please like, comment, and subscribe. See you next video.